happy November. I hope your fall is going well. This month I have for you a beautiful waltz. It's been a while since we've done a waltz. We need a little class in our lives. And uh, in fact, this is a Texas style waltz, a style that was pointed out to me that of the old time genres, old time American genres we've been doing, there has been an underrepresentation of the Texas style considering that I'm spending more and more time doing that myself. So, I'm going to share with you one of my very favorite Texas waltzes. Uh, it's also found up through Canada and all through the states outside of Texas because it's just so stinking gorgeous. It's uh, often attributed to Kenny Baker. We're not exactly sure if he wrote it or just made it ridiculously famous. It's called the Festival Waltz. to string players um, this particular video for, for getting the style and draw because it's all about the bowing and it's all about the double stops. But if you're not a bowed string player, by all means don't disregard this information. You can still take it, you just have to translate it uh, to fit your particular method of sound production. Okay folks, we are in A major, three sharps, and as you may have heard, uh, because it's a Texas style waltz, that means double stops, tons and tons of them, and they're beautiful, and it's not just open string drone double stops like some of the simpler old time styles, this is serious harmonic stuff. Alright, so uh, waltzes are, as we've said in the past, are not really part one, part two, part one ending the same way that the faster dance tunes are, and this waltz in particular is not because it's a long form waltz. It's going to feel like you're playing straight through 1A and 1B, but the sections are double the length that they would normally be. So it comes out to be dance length. We're going to do this one phrase at a time, and then you'll go back and put everything together. The nice part about waltzes is they're slow, and you have time to hear what's going on. Okay, A section. Here's the opening phrase. Two, three, one, two. <laughs> to it. Let's put it together the first half. That's kind of a an A7, uh, sorry, a major seventh arpeggio. Again, I have a quick down bow on the pickup. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up. So that whole thing is the downbeat on the down bow 
and then slur the rest of the bar. Let's do it one more time. <laughs>
video and get a little more mileage on that one because there's a lot in there. Um, but if it's feeling good, keep going. The next chunk might sound familiar to you. <laughs> start at the beginning, but the second half is going to change. Yeah, this is where the action starts to kick in. So let's go write that second chunk that's new. I'm going to do... It's a big A dominant 7th arpeggio. My bowing for these running uh, eighth notes is slur, slur, separate slur. It sounds really good in waltzes. We've done it before, like in Far Away and, and other ones. Here we go. That's such a great skip up there. Put it all together again from the A dominant seventh, two slur. And now we're ready for the ending. Now, by the way, this ending is going to come back again later, so learn it now. Now, you already know your life is easy because that ending is coming back. You already know the final chunk, so there are only three. Uh, I've just finished. Here's my pickup. triple it, now up the scale, and 
and that's the very start. So you can already have that under your ears. Here we go, pick up. version this goes so I'll do it again with a pickup Only instead of being down here, it's up here. But it's the same one potato, two potato principle you already know. Let's do this whole second chunk. if it helps you to place those double stops. Let's do a whole second chunk. Here we go. Big slide, fourth finger. spicy note and I'm gluing that third finger down the whole time. 
And I have the, I'm going to cross my string with my open A, add my first finger, C natural, to C sharp, right? So the top voice is working up the scale, and the bottom voice is just staying there the whole time. Canadians, I like it, I do it. If you don't like the lift, you can just keep your bow on the string. But I like that little moment of like, <gasps> breathlessness. All right, let's do it from the new part. Guess what, you already know this. The ending, D major, D minor. That second ending, second time the ending happens, goes straight into the end of the tune. So I do that little tag, a descending A major arpeggio, with a little turn to end here. Now if you think that ending note sounds special, we have similar tastes. Um, that's kind of a signature move for me. A lot of people would end this tune here on the root and the fifth. I like to end very special waltzes on the third of the arpeggio, and it just gives it this little bit of pixie dust. Uh, so if you hear people ending waltzes on the thirds, that's a very select and distinctive group of fiddlers. I am among them. Uh, if you would like to also be among them, that's your tag. If not, you can go all the way down. If that's more satisfying to you, I get it. I just like unsatisfying pixie dust, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the whole tune. You can go ahead and rewind and get any parts you want, but let's finish by playing the whole thing through together. I'll play it a little slower than I did at the beginning of the tape. Play with me. Beginning. Two, three, one, two. Down, up. And that's the whole tune. 
Oh man, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I just love this tune and there's so many different versions. What I just showed you is my personal version of it, kind of a mix of the Texas and the Canadian and just whatever I thought was pretty. But certainly you can find other places to put double stops. You can take some out if you like. I encourage you to go listen to other people's version of this tune and steal their versions uh, as well as mine. If you would like to see the sheet music for this and all future tunes of the month, Go ahead and subscribe to my newsletter, my email newsletter, on my website, www.mariblack.com. Hit subscribe, and every month when I send out the tune of the month, I will email out the sheet music for that tune of the month, especially for anybody who belongs to the newsletter. So if you're already a member, you already have this. And if you're new, you've got future tunes coming to you very soon. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. I look forward to seeing you next month.